Good Monday. This is Jay Brew, co-chairman of Seafried and Brew. Well, as we begin this week, two-year Treasury hitting a low in here of 0.15%. Maybe we should think about, instead of what I said on CDs being at 20 basis points, maybe we should be thinking about 15 basis points now. But there's a quandary here. Certainly, we've seen the Dow moving itself back upward from that below 11,000 level, hitting a high on Friday of 11,500, which is definitely a positive in here. But these pressures back and forth in terms of recession or not a recession. And we go back to our chart in terms of the Seafried and Brew Recession Threat Index. And the thing that we've pointed out is that this was sending out significant warnings going into 2007 and 2008 of an impending recession. But as you can see here, that currently that the recession threat index is really not sending off any great worries of a recession starting. In fact, we had more activity last year when the economy was definitely slowing down at that mid-year point. So when we look at this, is that could we be wrong in terms of this particular index? Is it maybe not catching something in the economy? Well, the interesting thing is part of what we use in the Seafried and Brew Total Risk Index is that we have state economic risk index. And when we look at this, typically we just look at it on a state-by-state -state basis. And we've found over time that the state index is very predictable about state economies in here. For instance, you'll find up on our website a paper that I wrote in terms of how in Arizona that it produced a high risk two years before the economy in Arizona really went down with the most recent Great Recession. And we can see in here right now, for instance, looking at all of the colors going across the United States, that we see a sea of overall green and light green colors. Some are, especially in here, you'll see pink zones. So what does this mean? Well, a pink zone would be zero to about negative one and a half percent growth. The red zone, when we look at both from the standpoint of Michigan and Nevada, are suggesting lower growth than that going forward over the next six months. But when we look at the green zones, and especially the dark green zones, say in these areas, Tennessee, West Virginia, New York, through the lower part of New England, and interestingly enough, Florida, is that Overall, this is expecting growth of somewhere from 1.5% to a positive 4.5%, whereas the light green is somewhere between 0 to 1.5% growth. So as we look across the nation, we definitely have some spots that are in negative type growth territory, but on an overall basis, it's suggesting not a recession, but going forward that these state economies are predicting not great growth, but still a growing scenario. So when we look at that, that backs up to a large degree the overall national risk index, which still from Seafried and Brew's overall national threat economic risk index is that that is showing a moderate to low amount of risk. So when we think about that, one could lean in and suggest that most likely we can see interest rates moving up somewhat as the economy strengthens, along with that, that we could see the stock market strengthen in here. Another interesting one when we talk about unemployment is that, and this was surprising looking at this, is that the different areas that you can see here in these different colors in terms of unemployment. 
the darker colors representing higher unemployment and we really go to those states where we were looking at trouble zones from the standpoint of up here in Michigan. It's interesting that the whole West Coast has significant unemployment. But when you look at the whole breadbasket of America going down through this whole area, is that unemployment, while still there, is not as high as in other parts of the country. The other interesting one, when we look at this whole East Coast corridor, is once again that that's showing unemployment at lower levels than through this whole section of the country. So it's interesting when you think about that and think about, well, where is your bank located and what kind of effects are you seeing from these different levels of unemployment? But the good part is when we looked at the previous map and look at the growth factors is that we're still looking at growth factors coming in this area as well as growth factors starting in Florida which is a real positive and hopefully what we'll start to see are these particular states that are in the negative territory moving forward. So I think that this is actual good news that as community bankers we can look at the economy improving somewhat as we move forward and not going back into a recession. This is Jay Brew, co-chairman of Seafried and Brew.